single mothers who are, um, haven't had any employment or have had very minimal employment and education. That's who our beneficiaries are. We have 12 ladies working full-time here and we have one who works full-time at the store. I'm a crafter at All Women Recycling. Uh, it's the fourth year this year. Let me share a story with you before I came here. I've lost my father on December, so by that time I was hurt. But coming to All Women Recycling, these bodies, you must love them when you make it. You must, you must take care of them. You don't just make it. And then, yeah, I, I feel the pain is going away now because I care about these bodies. So for me, it, take, it helps me to take out the stress and I'm, I feel free then. To know that women have a dignity now that they didn't have before, is, is, it's, it's satisfying for me. It's, um, I have moments where I look at them and see how they've developed as women on their own personal growth journey. And it's the business that has helped that. And that's, that's a nice, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing for all of us. I don't want my women to stay here forever. I want them to grow in the business. I want them to take more responsibility for management roles so that they can start looking and I can help them find other jobs. It's a, it's a stepping stone for me, for them. I don't, this isn't a first end job. This is a first stepping stone job. If things go well for me, I like to be a businesswoman. Um, we buy from local street collectors uh, where we're trying to help them create their own wealth. And, and to work with the community is very, very important for me. Um, because without them, we wouldn't be getting our bottles and we wouldn't be able to survive. Um, the more products that I can sell out there, the more bottles I'm saving from going into the dumps. And this year in 2016 alone, we'll save half a million bottles from going into the dumps. That's 117,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide that's going into the um, atmosphere. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming towards opening a full training center so that I can reach many more women and to aim towards more rural um, craftspeople. Uh, I already have a market, uh, an open market for products, high quality products. And for me to develop new products and to have more women working, learning, training, it, they all have raw talents. They're born with raw talents, the African women. And to, ex to, to grow on that and to um, develop that and to reach many more of them, I'd have to open a full training center. And that's where I'm aiming. We're looking also to look at taking the model into India. Yeah, I think that, that as far as Lynn is concerned, that she she sets herself high targets. And even with, if and when she achieves her current social impact targets, um, she's not going to stop there. She's going to carry on going and she's going to want to make a real impact. And I think she's sincere about it. And we feel that she's probably quite likely to achieve it as well. Thank you.